Nurse TV, brought to you by HESTA and the Australian Nursing Federation. Hi, I'm Saroj Nasrath. I'm the nurse practitioner in the liver service at Royal Perth Hospital. So what we might do today is just routine things. I'll give you a blood form, so if you want to go down and get your bloods yeah, done. Okay. And also, um, I'll give you a script for temazepam, okay. and that might help with your sleeping. Well, a nurse practitioner is really a registered nurse with an extended scope of practice. And the nurse practitioner is has got legal rights to... Um, the, the, the role has has been legalised and so the nurse practitioner has got prescribing rights and referral rights and also um, rights to, to order diagnostic tests. This is an extension of nursing which is not under the current scope of practice. Well, because this team's got a, a lot of experience, so they've got a great deal of uh, knowledge to pass on to anyone that's undertaking treatment which is somewhat onerous, so they know ways and means of dealing with the the complications that you come up against, the side effects of your treatment, managing work, sleep, just, just your lifestyle during the course of treatment and they just pass this useful information on to you to, to make it all easier or just to make sure that you're coping with it basically. Have you? I might give you some... Your knees especially. Your knees especially? Okay. might give you some Panadine Forge right that will that will help you with your pain my role is basically to look after patients in the hepatology unit i look after patients with hepatitis um, a and b even with liver disease i uh, do the case management for the patients the patients now can come directly to me they can be referred from the gp straight to the nurse practitioner so it cuts you know it cuts a lot of waiting lists um, and you can start a patient on treatment and follow the patient right through to follow-up stage where they actually can complete their treatment. It's basically um, giving comprehensive care, and um, and it has really and it has helped our patients, you know, to to complete their treatment in in one spot. But uh, saying all that, you you know, I also have uh, constant discussions with my. Um, head of uh, the liver service because if there are any difficult cases I would you know go and approach her and it's a very collaborative practice uh, within the department. Yeah, I think we should delay treatment until Dr. Alex is happy with him and perhaps start him on some antidepressants or any the medication to control him before we start him on treatment. Okay. I think a lot of my colleagues are probably not aware what's involved in the training of a nurse practitioner. They go through a two-year course, they go through an internship that's supervised by the clinical specialist. So they're very well trained. They're not there to uh, take over the role of the medical practitioner, but to complement the roles of the medical practitioner so that they can have time to do the uh, things such as looking after the more complex patients and uh, to devise other protocols for the department. You had to do a postgraduate qualification in clinical specialization so you they actually emphasized a lot on the pharmacology units because you you know you're taking on an extended role which is not in the current practice of nursing so you actually have to prescribe um, certain drugs within your designated area so you need to really concentrate on pharmacology and, and I found that one of the best components of the uh, of the whole course and of course it also there is a social science part of it which actually tells you the role of the nurse practitioner because it is new to WA and to Australia so there were nursing issues and legal issues that I you know that I got out out of the, out of the course basically I think the roles of nurse practitioners complement what we're doing I think we need to understand that the nurses are very highly trained in the area and they can manage the patients safely and they can save us a lot of time in trying to do the things that are fairly routine and give us more time to do other more complex uh, procedures. If you um, if we referred him basically to the transplant team before we actually started him on treatment? Mm -hmm. I think a nurse practitioner in an appropriate clinical setting is a very good idea because it helps to ease the workload of the doctors. They follow a very strict clinical protocols that are devised by the clinical practitioner and the nurse practitioner. So there's a standard they have to keep up to. I'll be very comfortable if the nurse practitioner practices 
within the guidelines of the clinical protocol. So you've got some kind of a rash you were telling me. The, yeah. the first script I wrote, I was actually yeah. quite apprehensive writing the script because it's an entirely new thing that you do and you actually, you know, think twice and before I write a script, I always, you know, it makes me think, you know, having to write, write a script. It's a big, uh, there are a lot of legal implications, so you really need to think about your law before you actually go forward with it. I think the good thing about nurse practitioner, it gives you job satisfaction. Uh, for me personally, when I see a patient, I can uh, see a patient in the clinic, uh, and when the patient has certain complaints, I can attend to them. I can prescribe some of the drugs which are within my formulary. Um, some of patients, our patients actually have a lot of psychiatric problems. They can be referred. I can refer them to the psychiatrist. So it's having that access to different, to your allied workers as well. That, that's a great thing. And as I said earlier, it's total patient management. That's the satisfaction that I get of being a nurse practitioner.